So for anybody who has made their own lead shop before, this is probably a familiar setup. I use a small camping stove and previously have used a pot similar to this. Some of you may have used a spoon to ladle your lead into the mould. Something maybe slightly larger, but I don't have anything because I do it a completely different way. So we're not going to need much for this, but I'll show you quickly how we can throw away this and have a far better lead working pot. So if you guys are making your own leads, then you're definitely more than capable of doing something like this. Um, as you know, whenever you melt your lead, all the slag, all the, the impurities float to the top, which means you have to get in under that to get to the good lead. So it's much easier if we take our lead from the bottom so quite simply that's a hole approximately three to four millimeters um, no bigger than that will be required um, as you can see this bit here you don't have to do this this is quite simply a cut with the grinder we've tapped this bit in and this is the second part of what we need for this and that is this it's a piece of steel bar sharpen down to a point that's to allow the point to drop in that hole and it's a very simple plug system that should be enough um, to stop any lead leaking out if it's not sometimes a small hammer give this a few taps to help the aluminium mold to the shape of the steel bar and that should seal it up. If you don't have a grinder to cut and do this, you can see I've put a couple of holes in here. And the idea behind that is if you've got a drill to drill the bottom, you can definitely drill these holes. And if you can drill these holes, go and take a small piece of wire. And we're going to do our best to feed it through the holes that we have so there we go so we've got our piece of wire now we don't want this to be too tight so we're just going to give it a, a couple of loose turns the same idea that will hold it in place and that's really all the movement we're going to need to open and close open close really that simple so if we put this on the pot or, or not on the pot on the on the heat you can see that this edge can sit out slightly further now I've cut a small piece off this old stove um, but if you can do that it allows this to sit out and because it sits out it means we have room to get our mold in below which means we never have to take the pot from the heat which is a vast factor in getting steady pores um, of your lead also your mold um, I'm going to get this fired up and get some heat going into it. We'll just see if we can. There we go. So there's some heat on there. Um, this is my own pot, which a buddy made for me. Um, it's aluminium. It's just slightly heavier J with a hole in the bottom. This is actually the pin that I use in this one. But as you can see, we have another mold there. And we have some lead so we're going to go ahead get that in there and once that's melted down we'll join back in again and uh, we'll see how this pot performs don't forget guys your molds some people suit them up using a match and holding it above the flame to suit them up if your molds good it's not 
necessary if your mold's not so good and is a bit wore and does bite um, onto the castings then certainly suit it up but I find just by placing them along the side here you will get brilliant heat and you may get some sitting so as you can see we're starting to get some runny lead so I'm just going to prepare now everything else that we need to cast a few balls so I think we're just about ready to try a pour on the new pot Now you never expect the first one to be too good just because by the time I get set up the mould has cooled slightly and because the mould has cooled we may not get a proper form but the first casting definitely helps get the heat into the mould so we'll just let this one stay in a few seconds a few seconds longer than normal just to make sure that the mould's getting up to the temperature that we need so, if we can separate our moulds. Separate the balls, like I say, they're sticking slightly because we're not up to temperature yet. So, now that we've got that one, let's see how the next one goes. Oh. And there's no point filling the, the reservoir at the top here all the way up, like I just did, because uh, I left it in bar too far. But there's no point in doing that. As you can see, this one there's very little, that one there's a lot, but a lot isn't required. Now there will be better moulds out there which will give you a lot less hassle in the cleaning up process however a lot of people don't have these moulds like myself so we make do with what we have and we try and make what we have as efficient as possible so we're casting 14 at a time here and that's the fourth back in again so there you go guys much easier than trying to ladle molten lead if you take it from the bottom where there is no impurities you'll be casting balls so much faster you will quite literally be doing a few hundred in a matter of minutes with this setup so there we go guys i hope that little pot set up will be of use to you um only recommendations i have the older the pot the better the thicker the aluminium the better modern day ones just don't hold the heat as well as this does but other than that hopefully it's stuff that you can have uh, lying around the house maybe in the shade maybe in the attic and it's definitely a much better way than taking from the top so I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope it's helpful for someone. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.